can I lose weight without dieting? Is the question I'm going to be answering on today's episode of Ask Nutritionist Deepa. So I received this question the other day from a patient and uh, the patient asked, can I lose weight without dieting? And if yes, how? If no, why? So here we go. My answer is going to be, it depends on how you define the word diet, okay? Because the true definition of diet is the kinds of food that a person, animal, or a community habitually eats, okay? So the word diet ties into the word habits. So if you are not willing to change your habits, then it's going to look like uh, we are not going to make a change. Without change, uh, result is not possible, correct? Keep doing what you are doing. If it is not leading you to where you want to go, then you need to change, you need to take a different route, correct? So people often look at diet as something negative, something restrictive, and that's where I think things go wrong because diet means habits. And just like everything else in life, either we develop good habits, bad habits, or we continue to strive to develop good habits, correct? Uh, last few years, I have been reading quite a bit about the theory of planned behavior. And uh, the, 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 the writer, Isaac, Isaac, Isaac um, Ajazen wrote this paper called From Intentions to Actions, okay? And I have been studying this theory to see how it can be applied to, to diet or to make behavior changes because it really uh, gets into what we are trying to do here, which is, you know, how do we turn intentions into actions? And a couple things, a couple things that I have learned from from reading this material about theory of planned behavior is that the number one is your attitude, okay? So if you have a positive attitude towards the change, uh, or in this particular case, if a person is going to look at diet as something restrictive, something that he doesn't want to do and is being forced to do, then chances are he's not going to, either not going to do it or uh, not going to stick with it, right? So it's, it won't become a habit. So having a positive attitude is going to be important. So I would rather focus on uh, setting a goal where I'm going to say, well, I'm going to work on some of my habits and I'm going to focus on the process and hopefully eventually that will lead to weight loss, which is my ultimate goal, right? So having the right attitude and not feeling or not starting something restrictive or something that you don't, you are not ready to do or you don't want to do is, is I, I think is an important uh, part of this uh, theory of planned behavior. Same thing I'm, I've been telling uh, people about exercise. You know, I said, don't go and join the gym or invest in expensive um, equipment if you have been, if you know that you are not, you don't have time or that's not your style uh, in terms of exercise, right? Because you are not going to stick with it. So when it comes to weight loss or making a change or uh, you have to ask yourself, am I doing something different than what I tried before? Okay, if you have tried protein shakes and uh, protein powders and detox tablets and fen fen or any kind of weight loss programs out there, and those have not resulted in, in a long-term success or even short-term, like a lot of people stop going to the gym. They take the gym membership beginning of January and then they stop going uh, what, like end of February, I believe, or the first week of March, they say is the, is the big dropout uh, uh, time period. 
So don't do that again. If you're doing that last few times, don't do it. It's not for you. It's not working out. Recognize that. Recognize what, you, what has worked for you and what has not worked for you and what else is out there, okay? And while you are doing that, have that positive attitude. Secondly, self-efficacy, okay? For example, if you want to lose weight, you want to make sure that you have self-efficacy in the sense you have tools to do so, okay? And in this case, tools being, do you have knowledge in terms of uh, how to do it? Do you have um, plan as to how to do it? And all these things can be, can be learned. Like you, you can sit down one day and say, you know what, in order to lose weight, it seems that I need to work on my portions. That's what I'm going to do. Or um, I am going to eat extra one cup of vegetable per day. Okay, so if you're eating half a cup, if you're eating no vegetables, start with a tablespoon. If you're eating a tablespoon, start, start by adding one cup. Okay, so these small changes. So understand where your, uh, where your current um, gap in the behavior is and what you need to improve, okay? Simple thing, like uh, instead of using white bread, you can say, hey, I'm going to use whole wheat bread or whole wheat pita. Something simple. Uh, Meatless Monday is another wonderful initiative which forces people to, or which um, uh, kind of motivates people to, to go without meat or, uh, and it's not only about just everybody eating, going vegan here or anything like that, but it's about making sure that, uh, that your diet is nutrient dense and not just calorically dense. So Meatless Monday motivates people to eat more vegetables. It motivates people to try different grains which are full of nutrients, okay? So uh, with right attitude and right tools, you can lose weight where it, uh, without being feeling that you are on diet, okay? So again, don't look at diet, the word diet as something negative. Diet means habits. If you are ready to change habits, uh, make a plan, get tools and start doing it, okay? Because habits are something they last for long or they're supposed to last for long and habit takes time, habit, formation of habit takes time, but when it is done correctly, it's worth it, okay? so. With that, I am going to conclude this episode. I hope you all are doing well and uh, stay tuned for next week's episode. We are going to have different guests again, uh, again uh, back to answer questions about health and wellness. I will be uh, also talking to the CEOs of, of some companies who have, who have been developing clean food products including cookies. So stay tuned for all those episodes. And uh, thank you again for, for joining me. Stay tuned for my Facebook lives as well and for the newsletter and good luck and see you next time. Thank you. <laughs>